all right you lovely people welcome to the channel we got here some new gossip we got here some new rumors about a johnny depp co-star lola glaudini that was working on blow from 2001 and she has this to say about johnny depp and my first thought here is okay let's try to be unbiased let's try to look into this even though we are fan of johnny depp right well, let's go. Let's check this out. <laughs> you know, and I do a big laugh or whatever. <clears throat> Carries on the scene. Cut. Back to one. Going again. We do it again. Ted gives me the cue, like, yeah, just like that. Perfect. I hear the cue. I burst out laughing. Johnny Depp, when they say cut, walks over to me. He walks over and he goes, comes up to me. He sticks his finger in my face. And I'm in a bikini on the ground like this and he comes over and he goes who the f do you think you are who the f do you think you are shut the f up i'm out here and i'm trying to f say my lines and you're f pulling focus you f idiot who the f do you think oh now oh now it's not so funny now you can shut up now you can f shut the f up Oh, it's not funny now. Okay, the quiet that you are right now, that's how you fucking stay. <laughs> I know this lady for approximately 59 seconds, and I probably would have reacted the same way to her. That's already what I want to do. Lady, shut the fuck up. All right? All right. Kidding aside. However, a representative for Depp denied the claims and told Variety the actor always prioritizes good working relationship with cast and crew and this recounting differs greatly from the recollection of other member on set at the time. So we're already getting the first debunking here from the spokesperson. Not only that, then we have here the second part of the story where she claims that Johnny Depp walked to her and said afterwards, you know, so earlier, I was really my head and staying in my character. I'm doing this Boston accent and it's really effing with me. So I'm a little tense and stuff. So I just wanted to make sure we are cool and everything. So apparently Johnny Depp walked to her and apologized for being unpleasant. We have also other members of the cast as witness here, which they chimed in. I think I saw it before somewhere here, which was the audio guy. Sar Sarkar, so here we go. Sarkar told Variety in a statement, as a sound person, you're constantly listening to what is going on on set, listening for noises, listening for chatter. In fact, specifically, I would listen to Johnny's audio to check for interference, both during rehearsals and during the take. I never heard anything like that, and that would have been a remarkable event. So that makes a lot of sense to, from the point of view of there's a lot of people on set and such an outburst would have caught the attention not only of the sound guy, but of many people. So it's interesting to see that this type of recounting comes now after 23 years from the movie shooting, right? So what I think is that in the end of the day, negative news right they always have much more pool and if this actress was to praise johnny depp right now it wouldn't have the same pool to a story that has mildly negative connotations that the media is going to pick up and run throughout the place because negative things sell much better than positive ones right so there is that and what it does is, of course, gives the attention to the person that it's seeking it. In this case, probably this lady that it's recounting or re-dramatizing or over-dramatizing a story that probably didn't go well that way. But I would add, I'm not trying to be biased because I'm a Johnny Depp fan here. Let's consider that this happened exactly like the way she's recounting it, right? So what are we supposed to do now? Take those 35 seconds interaction that are unpleasant, that the guy may be at an outburst, that we don't know also what it caused it, because we don't know the full context of it, right? 
And we are supposed to take that unpleasant moment, because if you put this on a scale of like, where does it stand? Is this DV? Is this abuse? Uh, do we have the right now to say Johnny Depp is a monster because he just told me to faff off? Because maybe he doesn't like me and he's being a little bit of an asshole. Where do you put this on the on this spectrum of, you know, one side abuse, the other side nothing? To me, personally, it goes like minus one. Because people have all this type of interactions all the time. And there is a level of resistance, of tolerance we have to... Uh, confront those type of things we don't have all of a sudden anything that causes a little bit of sweating in the palms of your hands you know shout and call it like oh my god i was abused by this person i can i go i cannot go on with my life anymore for real seriously for crying out loud are we supposed to define now a person with those 30 seconds, brand them, cancel them, and define their past, their future, and their legacy? Because one morning they woke up with a little bit like, uh, you know, maybe an hangover or something. I wouldn't do it either to her, you know, if she had this, you know, she did this or something to somebody else. But that said, right? That said, right? Most likely this didn't happen the way she's recounting it. As we can see already by the people debunking her. I just wanted to make this example to just say this is just another article of fried hair that it's aiming at speculating on a guy that is trying to get back, that he won his trial, is trying to get back, he's doing pretty all right actually. And he's still trending because he has huge support. And every now and then there is the next that is trying to jump on the wagon to try to see if he can get something a little bit out of it. That's all there is. In my opinion, that's just speculation. My opinion, you have your own opinion, which I also would like to hear below the comments here. And that's it, frankly, which is also my name. All right, guys. Take care of yourself. Please check some of my covers or my real music. I mean, the music I make. I would really appreciate that. Some of you Johnny Depp fans also checked some of my music. I will link it here. Spotify or some videos. It means a lot to me. And uh, I'll talk to you later.